Well, that went really fast. It's the last week of our church-wide study on the story of Jesus. It's been a wonderful seven weeks um, learning about the life, ministry, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus. And, and this week we're finishing up by talking about um, the beginnings, the new beginnings of the church and the, the great commission that Jesus um, gave to us, the church, when he ascended back to the Father um, and gave us the Holy Spirit to be with us. I was really, um, I really enjoyed page 85, reading about the story of Peter and John. It's from Acts chapter 3, where Peter and John were going up to the temple to pray, and they encountered a, a lame beggar who was um, outside the temple gates. And they looked directly into this beggar's eyes, and Peter said this, Silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. I think what a wonderful fulfillment that is of the Great Commission to go and make disciples. We, the church, are called to give to others what we have, what we've been blessed with. And I just think over the last seven weeks, we've been blessed by this. This is what God has given us, is the hope in the Gospels. And so now, when we encounter others, what we have to give them is this hope. Um, I really, I'm excited about the fact that we've given away over 500 copies of this book over the last seven weeks, and, and I've ordered more so that you can continue to share this book with others. I think we've seen so many of these go out our doors because you're taking them and giving them to your friends and your family and your neighbors, and we want to encourage you to do that. Silver or gold, we may not have, but what we do have, we will give to you. What we have is the hope that we have found in the story of Jesus the hope that we have in Christ. So I want to encourage you to remember what it is that you have, what the Lord has blessed you with, that he has blessed you with this hope, with this assurance, with this love, with this mercy, and with this grace. And he has given it not just to you, but he has given it to you with the command to go and to share it with others. So Take some more of these books. I'll have them around for a while. I, I'll keep getting them if you'll keep giving them out. Let's share this hope with others. Let's share this story of Jesus. Let's give folks what we have. That's what we're supposed to do with it. And I just pray that as we give it away, that, that, that people will be surprised by God's kindness. That through our faithful actions of giving our hope to others, that people will be overwhelmed by God's goodness. I pray for all of you as you are going and being his disciples in this world.